Hey everybody, how are you? We're making this today. Did it come out cute? I love it. All right, don't forget today is Monday, May 21st, the 21st day in May where we crafted every day in May. Sponsored by Jan's Crazy Life. So go please check out all those people that were crafting every day in May. I'll link them below. Also, don't forget that today is my giveaway. At tonight, at tonight, tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to try to go live and we are going to give away. I don't even know where it is. You know what we're giving away. Go find that video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. You have to leave me a comment. That's how we're going to do it. Um, 18 or older live in the United States, be a subscriber. All right, everybody, go look for that video and happy, happy day. You all make me smile. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, everyone, how are you? Um, I'm sure you saw the picture of what we're making, um, but honestly, it's not made yet. We're making it together, and then I take the picture and... Um, go from there. So this is in my head. I've seen this on, I guess, Pinterest. And it's a flower pot card where you create this flower pot. Let me show you the one that I made, my prototype. Um, it looks like this, and you're supposed to just pull a card out of it. It's supposed to sit like this and pull the card out. I don't want my card to come all the way out. I don't know why, but I just don't. So I sat here thinking, how can I fix this? So I decided to add a belly band, make my page longer so that when it's in my card, it can't pull out, okay? So this, and I wanted, on the ones that I've seen, there's only one flap. I want two flaps. So, this is what I came up with. Cut your piece. I'm using craft card stock because I think I'm going to distress it. Four by 10, okay? Let's do this together. I'll do it with you. So we need a piece cut at four inches by 10 inches. All right, once we get that cut, we want to score it at one and a half. I feel like my score lines are not straight. One and a half, five, and eight and a half. All right. So then what I want you to do is this. Fold it in half. All right. Now, we have to mark a half inch on each side. So what we could do is this. Put it up on your scoreboard. I had a pencil. Okay. Mark a half an inch on each side. Just give it little, give it hash marks. Then, from this flap, see this, the score line right here? I'll even mark it. From this score line, those two marks, we're going to run a diagonal. So we're just gonna take our ruler and go point to point. Point to point, and we're just gonna make a pencil mark. Same thing on this side point to point. And this is what we get. Okay, paper is still folded. So let's cut these off. I 
Alrighty. Look at how cute. All right, fold these flaps down. I think I want to round my edges. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a quarter inch. Just on the two ends. Look at how cute that came out, right? All right. So then this is what I was thinking. This little belly band, right? So grab a piece of paper. Two inches should be fine. Um, let me see what I, I have my notes over here. Um, two inches by four. So let's cut this off at four. And we're going to score a half inch on both sides. So we'll score a half inch here and a half inch here. So fold, whoa, and fold. Um, I'm going to use my red line tape from Dollar Tree. I really like the way this has been working out. All right, so put tape on both sides that we just scored at. That one and that one. here on my scoreboard. Silly dog. All right, so. Doesn't matter which end you put it on, either this side or this side. Put it towards the top. Okay, put it towards the top and center it. Now this paper I cut at seven by two and three quarters. And it just sits right in there. And then what I'm going to do is this. I don't need a lot of glue or score tape, but I'm going to use the red line tape. Now, once I put this on, I'm only going to have this much to decorate, but I think I can decorate it without, um, without having it outside of the card. All right. Out comes the awkward glitter glue. Nothing like it. I have to tell you, I don't know what they created this out of, but it is by far the best glue. All right, like I said, don't go further than that belly band. Gotta love that art glitter glue. Never fails. Never fails. All right. So, and now we have our sliding motion. Yay. So this will be the front of the card. That will be the back of the card because you see, we get a little bit of that, um, that fold. So just be aware of which is your front and which is your back. All right. I'm going to grab some Tim Holtz, um, ink. Give me one sec. All right, I grabbed my Tim Holtz. I think I want to use walnut. 
Ooh. Oh, I wonder what fire brick would look like. Let's see. Should we see what fire brick looks like? We'll do it on a scrap. Maybe it'll look like terracotta. Oh, wow. What do you think? I'm thinking that might be it. Yep, we're going to do that. All right, so I always like to grab a piece of scrap paper. I use that. I'll use that one. Sorry, guys. I can't work with all the three tools out. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right, so let's de-stress this. All right. Oh, how sweet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Can you all see how great this is coming out? I want my edges to be um, pronounced. See, like that. Oh, I love this. I have been thinking about this for the longest time. I will decorate both sides with the ink, only because it will finish the product, or the product, the card off. It won't look, you know, I don't know, unfinished. Oh, wow. All right, let's work on those. Okay, that's my back. And this is my front. So I want to ink my edges. A little bit more. Oh, how sweet! I want those corners to be round. I just think that that's a nicer look. I'm going to give this some distressing, even though I think I'm going to put, you know, we'll put a sentiment or something in it. Just let it flow. Oh, can you all see that? Look at that. Oh, that's so sweet. All right. So this has to go down in here. Yay. Okay. I know I've said this before, but I keep my Tim Holtz. These were sandwich keepers from Walmart. I got two in a pack. Um, got them in September when it was back to school time. And I feel that it keeps my inks moist if they don't dry out. So I keep them in here and they stack so nicely and then I put them in a drawer. All right, so 
Yay! Loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, done with that. So what I'm thinking is, I really haven't thought the process through anymore. Um, let me see. I know these are going to get glued down, so let's glue them down. Just like that. And I'll glue the other side down. And this is the front of our card. Um, thinking of you, maybe. Maybe that. Maybe I'll go print out something. Actually, you know what? Let me look through my stamps. I feel like stamping today. I'll be back. Okay, so while I was looking for a stamp, I decided I was going to try to do some lace. Um, so let's see. This here measures four by one and a half. So let me just cut my paper at one and a half. And then by four. I know I'm out of range, but you don't need to see me cut my paper. Okay, so this would be it. So I'm thinking let's see. This punch always makes a mess, but that's okay. I do love these punches. I really do. Ah! What happened there? Hold on. I'm trying to be on camera. Okay, look how cute! So, I'm thinking right there. Oh my goodness. Loving it. Uh, I am. I really and truly am. And then, let's see. Oh, wow. Super, super, super cute. I don't know. I was just in the mood to make this today. I really was. And then um, I wanted to use, I think I'm gonna find a way to push my stuff back on my desk so that I have more room. How come desks aren't big enough? I didn't sleep well last night, I'm tired. It's 7.38 in the morning. I sent John out to do his errands already. <laughs> He's got to go to Home Depot, the post office for Cat. Cat, it's going in the mail today. Um, what else he has to do? He's just got stuff to do. I gave him a to-do list. Yep. Ooh. I said, here's your Donna do list. Stay out until you get it done. But then he goes to Dunkin' Donuts to hang with the guys. The old man, he hangs out with the old man. Okay. <laughs> so I grabbed the sentiment from a Colorful Season at Stamping Up. I actually am kind of liking Life is a Beautiful Thing, but I wanted to use this punch. And I just wanted to say, you make me smile. So, kind of like in the way that that looked. I don't know if that will work. Let's see. Uh, paper's too small. Let's just punch it and see what it look, comes out looking like. No, don't like it. Don't like it. Give me one second to see if I can find another cream. 
for something that complements it. I have it. Because I'm going through my stash of stuff. All right, so let's punch this out. Punch this out. Let's stamp this out. Um, okay, I keep moving stuff. I really do. My black is right here. Right here. And we're gonna take, you make me smile. I haven't used this stamp set yet. I haven't even stamped it out to put it away. I always stamp them out. Um, I'll use the book. Oh, I think this is very pretty. See that? Okay. Move this out and I'll clean that a little bit. And now let's punch this. And I'm thinking a dimensional. Two. Yes, ma'am. Dimensionals. Actually, we're just going to cut this in half today. Because we can. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Today is the first day we don't have rain in our forecast since the tornado last week. Look at how cute. Okay, moving on, because we are on a roll now. Now it's time for the flowers. Okay. All right, time for flowers. So I got these flowers, I don't know, Michael's Hall maybe, and I thought they were really cute. I'm gonna use this jar. I'm not gonna use this jar. Yeah, I store them in these. I was gonna do this as a project share, but they just look pretty in my cabinet. And I'm thinking this. Um, I don't know. Um, Okay, wait a second, check this out. All right, this has another sentiment in it that we can use. Just sort. It. Life is a beautiful thing, or may all your tomorrows be as happy as today. I think I like that one. I think I like it. Gosh, it doesn't want to come out. All right. Um, I'm just going to stamp it right on there. Yep, I'm being brave, right? Yep, I'm going to stamp it right on there. Let's bring the book back. Let's bring the ink back. Didn't think I was going to use it again. Should we ink this up really well? It looks like it's all inked up. Okay. My head's gonna get in the way. Just for a second, guys. I'm so sorry. Yay! 
May all your tomorrows be ha as happy as today. All right, we'll let that dry for a sec. All righty. Loving it. Yes, I love when a design concept comes to life. All right. We shall let that dry. So, we're going to put flowers right at the top of that. We're going to start right above it. And I think my art glitter glue will be just fine. But I want that sentiment to be seen when you pull it out. So. And we're just going to layer them. Oh my goodness. And there we have it. Oh my goodness. Look at how sweet this flower pot card is. I glued two things together. All right, let's fix that. Oh, there we go. May all your tomorrows be as happy as today. Yeah, you know what? You can't read it all, but you can, you know what it says. I think it's adorable. All right, everybody, that is today's craft. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.